Hi, I'm Angie. I just thought I'd show you a few of the new things that I picked up in the past couple weeks. Um, as you may know, I'm practicing with my Copic markers and I picked up some of these really cute house mouse stamps. And they're just really fun to color and I just think they are so adorable. This one I think will be great because there's so many colors on it. They're in the bottom of a bubblegum machine. And this little one with cherries. And you may have seen my sample I did with the little strawberry ones. I just love his little fat belly. And this one I thought was really versatile. It's a little party mouse. So that would be cute on any kind of little celebration card. So I'm looking forward to coloring those. I also picked up some of these Tim Holtz scissors. And these are great because they're Teflon coated and they have a serrated edge so that they can cut through sticky back paper or heavy cardstock really comfortable. I think they're really nice. And I also got a corner chomper. And the decision making process with this was that because I'm going to be doing more binding of chipboard albums, I thought this would be a great tool to round the corners because it can chomp through heavier material. And what I really like is that you get both sizes. You get a quarter inch and a half inch. So you get two tools really for the price of one. And it's very comfortable and heavy duty. So excited to try that out too. I picked up some Memento Tuxedo Black ink which is the pretty much the standard for using with the Copic markers. So with my sample I had to emboss it to try it because I didn't have this ink yet but now I'm going to try it with just using this ink. Refill time for my Zig 2A glue stick. Really like this for gluing down small little pieces. I got these cute little key charms which I thought would be great in my paper bag mini. It's really cute. And I got some Kaiser Craft ribbon samples. It's um, one meter length of all the natural colors in grow green ribbon. So it wasn't very expensive and I thought that's a great way to try out some ribbon. And I also couldn't resist getting these two pieces of paper which I thought were so charming and old-fashioned and I thought I can cut these up and use them on a distressed page and this one's like a map. I thought that was really beautiful so I think I can find something fun to do with that. And lastly I wanted to show you this which is my Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist and this is just an amazing product. It's a liquid that you spray on or you can use a paintbrush and it's all glittery. It's like a metallic paint and it is acid free. This one's called Indian Corn and it's a beautiful deep red and this one is called Olivine and it's a lovely lovely nice green and so here's some examples. What I did was took some paper flowers and sprayed them with the Tattered Angel and then I let them dry and used some Versamark on it and embossed them with clear embossing powder and they kind of go almost like enameled flowers. I think they are so pretty. So I'm going to experiment with that some more. But I just thought I'd show you what I have done so far and all the new toys to play with. So thanks for watching and hopefully I'll have some more samples for you.